Sitting atop the Continental Divide in the Northern Rocky Mountains of the United States lies Butte, Montana, a town that boasts a rich and colorful mining history. The copper deposits in Butte are said to have played a major role in electrifying America, and in its heyday, Butte was one of the most important cities west of the Mississippi. However, the copper that once built the town and helped build the nation also came with a price, and today, Butte stands as America's largest Superfund site. Or in other words, the most heavily polluted area in the United States. Among the many miles of Superfund in Butte, and quietly tucked behind Butte's infamous Berkeley Pit, sits the Yankee Doodle Tailings Pond. At over three times the size of the Berkeley Pit, the Yankee Doodle Tailings Dam is one of the world's largest earthen dams. Waste rock from the former Berkeley Pit operation and the current Continental Pit operation form this 650-foot tall barrier. The Tailings Dam was originally created to store mine waste from Butte Mining Operations and currently receives waste from the active Continental Pit. Tailings and waste slurry are pumped into the dam and the berms that make up the dam are still growing. It is difficult to understand the magnitude of mine waste at the Yankee Doodle Tailings Pond because it has been used as a waste dump for nearly a century of Butte Mining. The massive amount of tailings is actually unknown. Tailings that enter the dam as of 2011 are treated with lime to mitigate acidic mine drainage. The site is also kept moist with wastewater, mine slurry, snow melt, and fresh water from Yankee Doodle Creek. High levels of metal are suspended in the water and give the tailings an eerie blue color. However, the metals are safely suspended within the wet tailings and wildlife and birds can access these waters somewhat safely. But if the tailings are left to run dry, Massive dust storms from dry tailings can engulf the city of Butte. The effects of dry tailings were seen in the early 2000s when Montana Resources had to shut down operations and toxic dust storms plagued the city. The Montana Department of Environmental Quality brought up a lawsuit against the company and even threatened a $10,000 a day fine for the blowing tailings, which were said to contain metals in particulate, such as arsenic, lead, zinc, silica, and copper which are all known to cause human health problems. On Monday, May 21st, 2001, more than 100 calls came in from outraged citizen after citizen, some from areas that were as far away as the Butte Airport, which is over five miles away from the tailings ponds. To mitigate the dust from the tailings, Montana Resources spent about $2 million to cap the 500-acre surface of the dry tailings ponds, with nearly 1.5 million tons of rock and material. They also spread seeds to grow vegetation on top of the new rock and soil in efforts to cap the tailings and retain dust. When mining operations are in full swing, the city of Butte avoids these toxic dust storms. But these mining operations are not forever and dry tailings are inevitable. The consequences of mining are permanent when it comes to the Yankee Doodle tailings pond and removal of the mine waste is not an option due to the sheer magnitude of the tailings. The only option available is to use rock and soil capping methods to mitigate this environmental disaster. Capping measures, however, cannot permanently mitigate waste seepage and groundwater contamination, and they can neither remove the scar from the Butte landscape nor protect our families and children from the consequences of the richest hill on earth. The city of Butte needs a permanent solution to this problem because dry tailings and toxic dust storms are inevitable. Although the damage to the Butte landscape is irreversible, the hard lessons learned here can and should be applied to mining operations around the world so that this magnitude of pollution can never occur again.